Question 1. Senior management is frustrated at the lack of a detailed implementation plan that shows exactly when the project will end and when all requirements will be met. The team has been using a rolling wave planning approach so far on the project. How should the Agile practitioner explain to senior management the benefits of this approach? A. It ensures a consistent level of detail is available in the project schedule. B. It prevents a wasteful buildup of requirements inventory that may never be processes. C. It provides a concrete definition of product scope, cost and duration. D. It allows the team to lock down the stories to be included in a release. Answer is C. Meet personally with the stress team member to brainstorm ways to better manage their time. Question 2. A team member is stressed due to a heavy workload, while other team members have some slack in their schedules. How should the team lead address this? A. Inform management, and suggest that additional resources may be required. B. Discuss the issue with the team in the daily stand-up meetings. C. Meet personally with the stress team member to brainstorm ways to better manage their time. D. Begin tracking the stress team member tasks in a separate backlog for additional analysis and reporting. Answer is C. Meet personally with the stress team member to brainstorm ways to better manage their time. Question 3. A product owner for two highly visible projects spends a great deal of time meeting with and reporting to senior stakeholders. The product owner is overwhelmed because both project teams request clarification on the requirements and the overall priorities. What should the Agile project manager do? A. Provide both project teams with the highest priority needs. B. Request the project team questions in writing prior to the next meeting. C. Facilitate a meeting with each team and the product owner to find a solution. D. Provide both teams with each project documentation. Answer is C. Facilitate a meeting with each team and the product owner to find a solution. Question 4. A seven-member Agile team composition varies considerably in age, gender, culture, personality type, and professional background. When planning a team-building event, what type of interpersonal skills should the project leader use? A. Networking. B. Social awareness. C. Communication. D. Leadership. Answer is B. Social awareness. Question 5. Due to its complexity, a new team member struggles with developing a concise user story. What advice should the Agile practitioner give to assist with developing the story? A. Hand the story over to a more experienced team member. B. Break the story up and focus on the most valuable parts. C. Discuss the story at the retrospective. D. Pick another story from the product backlog. Answer is B. Break the story up and focus on the most valuable parts. Question 6. Trend analysis shows that velocity is significantly higher than predicted and the release can be completed one month ahead of schedule. The team recommends changing the end date to reflect this. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Jointly meet with the team and product owner to discuss options and determine the end date. B. Announce that the team has exceeded the predicted velocity, and that the end date will be earlier than planned. C. Ask the product owner to include additional features in the product backlog, then replan subsequent iterations. D. Ask the team to decrease velocity to meet contractual obligations and document this decision. Answer is A. Jointly meet with the team and product owner to discuss options and determine the end date. Question 7. A team technical lead believes that manual testing tasks should be conducted by junior team members below their level. The junior team members think it is unfair and refuse the tasks. What should the scrum master do? A. Tell the technical lead to do the testing. B. Facilitate an open and focused team discussion that reinforces team agreements. C. Ask the team manager to advise the technical lead that all tasks are important. D. Encourage the team to take ownership of the delivery. Answer is D. Encourage the team to take ownership of the delivery. Question 8. Midway through a project, the product owner learns from the sponsor that a major component, which is already 20% complete, is unimportant to users. The component was part of the approved scope and a key selling point for the project. What should the product owner do next? A. Obtain approval from the change control board to discontinue the component. B. Ask the team to continue developing the component. C. Ask the team to discontinue developing the component. D. Request the sponsor formal approval to discontinue the component. Answer is D. Request the sponsor formal approval to discontinue the component. Question 9. Why should a project team reduce the work in progress? A. It indicates poor project quality. B. It represents team members' utilization. C. It represents unrealized value D. It shows that the project is behind schedule. Answer is C. It represents unrealized value. Question 10. During a review session, a customer representative is concerned that a story fails to satisfy the scope of work. However, the product owner declares that the scope of work is complete. What should be done with this story? A. Mark it as incomplete and prioritize it for the next sprint. B. Mark it as complete, 
since the product owner has the final say. C. Discard it and create a new story for the remaining scope of work. D. Market is complete, since the team completed the scope of work. Answer is A. Market is incomplete and prioritize it for the next sprint. Question 11. A project team meets to estimate user stories for a sprint. While an important non-functional requirement must be delivered in the sprint, the estimate exceeds sprint capacity. What should the team do? A. Estimate only functional requirements that will impact product quality. B. Add team resources. C. Refer the issue taught A. Product owner. D. Break non-functional requirements into those that can be delivered in the given sprint. Answer is D. Break non-functional requirements into those that can be delivered in the given sprint. Question 12. A development team and product owner disagrees on a user story in the product backlog. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Have the development team follow the product owner's direction. B. Openly challenge the product owner in the effort to poke holes in their approach. C. Facilitate a conversation about the user story between the development team and the product owner. D. Serve as a nonpartisan evaluator of each option and provide direction to the development team and product owner. Answer, Answer is C. C. Facilitate a conversation about the user story between the development team and the product owner. Question 13. During a planning session, four out of five team members vote to include eight story points in a particular story, while the fifth member votes for five story points. How should this be handled? A. The story should be assigned eight story points as per the majority vote. B. The story should be added to the backlog and reassessed later. C. The story should be assigned points after a discussion with the fifth team member to see if a consensus can be reached. D. The decision for the number of story points should be made by the customer. Answer is C. The story should be assigned points after a discussion with the fifth team member to see if a consensus can be reached. Question 14. A project is starting and the type of work is complex and suitable for Agile. In assessing the team members, it appears that collocation would be a challenge. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Select and implement collaboration tools to augment team interactions. B. Provide each geographical area with their own product owner and divide the work between the teams. C. Increase the number of requirements documents and ensure they are clearly communicated. D. After several sprints, calculate velocity based on primary team location and use secondary team as reserve. Answer is A. Select and implement collaboration tools to augment team interactions. Question 15. Team A is working on the second sprint of a product release. Team B, which is an interdependent team located on the same floor, requires exclusive and frequent information to complete its sprint goal. What should the Agile team do? A. Create a central repository for information, and provide access to Team B. B. Use an information board that will be visible to all passing through the workspace. C. Email all stakeholders with status updates. D. Provide Team B with the information on needed basis. Answer is B. Use an information board that will be visible to all passing through the workspace. Question 16. Chart base on the burndown chart. What is the iteration status? A. It trended ahead of scheduled and completed everything on time B. It took more time than expected and had to be lengthened C. It trended behind schedule and did not complete everything on time D. It took less time than expected and had to be shortened. Answer is C. It trended behind schedule and did not complete everything on time. Question 17. During planning sessions, an Agile practitioner notices that some team members do not share common ideas. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Ask the team if they would like to adopt alternative techniques. B. Create a team norms document to set particular guidelines. C. Ask the scrum master to resolve the issue at the stand-up meeting. D. Capture feedback during lessons learned at the end of the iteration. Answer is A. Ask the team if they would like to adopt alternative techniques. Question 18. More details for a story are required before the upcoming sprint planning meeting. What should the scrum master do? A. Email the product owner requesting detailed story specifications and wait for a response. B. Gather the details from the team members before sprint planning. C. Schedule a story grooming session with the product owner before sprint planning. D. Conduct a planning poker session with the team. Answer is C. Schedule a story grooming session with the product owner before sprint planning. Question 19. Prior to a retrospective, discussions among team members indicate conflict. An Agile practitioner wants to ensure an open and safe environment during the retrospective. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Review established ground rules with the team. B. Ask team members specific questions to identify the cause. C. Encourage the team to continue working to maintain the iteration schedule. D. Meet with the product owner and stakeholders to discuss the issue. Answer is A. Review established ground rules with the team. Question 20. A company is considering developing a new, complex application that will require a large initial investment. However, if successful, the profit potential is high. When preparing an analysis, 
what should be used to encourage stakeholders who are concerned about project failure to authorize the initial investment? A calculated plan percent complete, PPC B many small minimally marketable features, MMFC story points rather than cost estimates. D calculated earned value, EV, answer is B many small minimally marketable features, MMFs. Question 21. While reviewing the sprint burned down during a stand-up, the scrum team identifies that they have fallen behind. Upon further discussion, they discover that some quality assurance, QA, team members were unable to use the new automation framework, which caused a bottleneck. What should the scrum team do? A. For upcoming sprints, have QA team members ensure that their respective skill sets are considered when accepting stories. B. Have QA team members with the appropriate skill sets spend extra to help the team succeed. C. Ensure that QA team members who lack the appropriate skill up for training within the next few weeks. D. Ask QA team members experienced with the new automation framework to cross-train the other QA members. Answer is D. Ask QA team members experienced with the new automation framework to cross-train the other QA members. Question 22. An organization highly values security. However, a team member on a project has found a way to save time and money with less robust security features. What should the team member do? A. Influence the customer. B. Mention the idea at the next retrospective. C. Show the customer how much time and money would be saved. D. Present the idea at the next ceremony attended by stakeholders to obtain their input. Answer is B. Mention the idea at the next retrospective. Question 23. During its first sprint, a new scrum team realizes that it has insufficient team members with test automation skills to efficiently complete its stories. What should the team do? A. Cross-train some members in the automation framework to broaden their capacity with that skill. B. Ask the product owner to add team members to boost this particular skill set. C. Send a member to automation framework training when funds are available. D. Avoid using test automation by swarming on the testing tasks and using manual testing. Answer is A. Cross-train some members in the automation framework to broaden their capacity with that skill. Question 24. During sprint planning, Team members have differing opinions on a feature that delivers business value but fails to provide a long-term solution for the customer. How should the team resolve this? A. Refer to the values of the Agile framework in the team. B. Review the signed customer contract. C. Check the sprint priority list. D. Submit the problem to the product owner. Answer is A. Refer to the values of the Agile framework in the team. Question 25. A project team realizes that an important task on the iteration backlog will take more time than originally estimated. What should the project team do? A. Continue working on the task until it is completed. B. Remove the task owner from the project team. C. Add resources to reduce time to task completion. D. Stop working on the task and include it in the next iteration. Answer is D. Stop working on the task and include it in the next iteration. Question 26. A risk has been identified in a multifunctional project. The project manager decides to take no action. What type of response is this considered? A. Avoidance B. Exploitation C. Procrastination D. Acceptance. Answer is D. Acceptance. Question 27. An executive sponsor of a new scrum team actively attends scrum ceremonies. How does this benefit the team? A. It helps the team to focus on and meet sprint goals B. It reminds the team about who sponsors the project C. It provides high-level project updates to the sponsor D. It helps to quickly resolve issues using the sponsor slash S influence. Answer is D. It helps to quickly resolve issues using the sponsor slash S influence. Question 28. A legal department representative contacts the scrum master because, while the project budget has been maintained, it has exceeded its original contracted time and scope. What should the scrum master do? A. Meet with the team to gain alignment with the legal department's need to stay within the contracted time and scope. B. Work with the customer to narrow the scope. C. Share the project's trajectory with the legal department. D. Meet with the legal department to help them understand that the customer and the team are satisfied with the time and deliveries. Answer is D. Meet with the legal department to help them understand that the customer and the team are satisfied with the time and deliveries. Question 29. The company is a risk-seeking organization, and has experienced measurable success based on their current strategy for growth. A new project has that exceeds the risk levels documented in the risk management plan. What would be the best course of action for the company to take with the project based on its current scope? A. Monitor ongoing risks closely for any major changes. B. Perform a Monte Carlo simulation to understand possible risk outcomes. C. Cancel the project, as the overall level of risk remains unacceptable. D. Conduct a stakeholder meeting to validate stakeholder risk appetite. Answer is C. Cancel the project, as the overall level of risk remains unacceptable. Question 30. 
an Agile project leader notices that the team's velocity has decreased. In examining data provided by team members, the project leader discovers that one team member has been slow to enter story statuses. What can happen as a result? A. The team will be unable to understand the iteration status. B. The team will be unable to judge the project design's validity. C. The team cannot give accurate updates to management. D. Team collaboration cannot be measured effectively. Answer is C. The team cannot give accurate updates to management. Question 31. A product owner complains that some of the requirements identified several iterations ago have not been implemented. The product owner wants to know why the status of these requirements was not communicated. What should the scrum master do? A. Point out that the team chose to work on other requirements to speed up the project. B. Ensure that the product owner reviews the contents of the information radiator. C. Ensure that the next sprint planning meeting reviews the satisfaction histogram. D. Point out that it is the responsibility of the product owner to clarify requirements. Answer is B. Ensure that the product owner reviews the contents of the information radiator. Question 32. During an iteration review, the Agile team asserts that a product is complete because development and review were finished. The product owner disagrees, since the product has not been tested. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Work with the Agile team and product owner to agree on the definition of done. B. Ask the sponsor to determine whether the product is completed. C. Plan another review after the product has been tested. D. Add testing to the backlog, and have the product owner reprioritize. Answer is A. Work with the Agile team and product owner to agree on the definition of done. Question 33. During a sprint review, the product owner identifies a required improvement for a feature's user interface, UI, delivered during the sprint. What should the product owner do next? A. Create a user story for this new improvement and put it in the product backlog for prioritization and validation by the customer. B. Create a user story for this new improvement and prioritize it for the next sprint. C. Document it as a requirement creep. D. Ask the team to take on additional story points to improve the UI. Answer is A. Create a user story for this new improvement and put it in the product backlog for prioritization and validation by the customer. Question 34. The customer needs assistance in determining the efficiency of a set of process activities within the solution. What should the Agile team do? A. Discuss the efficiency at the next iteration retrospective. B. Review the process value stream to determine potential improvements. C. Review the value the customer receives from the user story to determine backlog priority. D. Discuss the performance of the solution at the next sprint. Answer is A. Discuss the efficiency at the next iteration retrospective. Question 35. A company is moving into a new space and is determining the best configuration for offices. The management team is also considering moving to an agile process. What should an agilist give? A. Arrange the office space to allow collocation of development teams and centrally located information radiators. B. Isolate each development team to reduce all outside distractions. C. Ensure management understands the need for isolation to allow for concentration. D. Define the Agile method the company will be using and implement the office configuration based upon that method. Answer is A. Arrange the office space to allow collocation of development teams and centrally located information radiators. Question 36. An Agile team member identifies a potential problem within the project team. How should the team's coach react? A. Document the problem, escalate to the project manager, and develop a solution for the team. B. Add the problem to the backlog and assign resolution to a future iteration. C. Instruct the team to try to solve the problem within the team. D. Perform root cause analysis and report the problem to the product only. Answer is C. Instruct the team to try to solve the problem within the team. Question 37. When monitoring the execution quality of risk-related plans and processes, which of the following would be a useful metric to track and record? A. The number of risks in the project risk register. B. The degree of variation from the baseline. C. The number of levels in the risk breakdown structure. D. The degree of variation from the risk response strategy. Answer is B. The degree of variation from the baseline. Question 38. Stakeholders are displeased with the latest release of a product software. While most stakeholders attended every sprint review, they were otherwise largely uninvolved in the project. What should the Agile practitioner have done to ensure stakeholder satisfaction? A. Communicated early and often, as outlined in the communications matrix. B. Ensured engagement among stakeholders and the product owner. C. Conducted additional stakeholder reviews and demos. D. Worked with the product owner to prioritize user stories. Answer is B. Ensured engagement among stakeholders and the product owner. Question 39. An Agile project manager notices that the product manager manages team members' day-to-day -day tasks in a way that distracts them from their core responsibilities. In addition, 
the team believes that their questions on product backlog prioritization are not being answered on time. What should the Agile practitioner do? A. Discuss and address this in the iteration retrospective. B. Let the product owner know it is the project manager's responsibility to drive Areem's tasks. C. Discuss the roles and responsibilities of the project team with the product owner. D. Ask the product owner to work extra hours to answer the team's questions. Answer is A. Discuss and address this in the iteration retrospective. Question 40 An agile team member from a cross-functional team has been unable to complete assignments due to tasks assigned by the functional manager. What should the scrum master do? A. Dismiss the team member B. Discuss the situation with the functional manager C. Report the functional manager to the project sponsor D. Demand that the functional manager respect the project charter. Answer is B. Discuss the situation with the functional managerial. Question 41. During a mature Agile team's planning meeting, a team member proposes a new framework that would considerably reduce implementation time. However, the team lacks the confidence to try the new framework. To help the team gain confidence, what should the Agile practitioner suggest? A. Develop a spike. B. Create an Ishikawa diagram. C. Perform a pre-mortem analysis. D. Complete a variance and trend analysis. Answer is A. Develop a spike. Question 42. The team is in the middle of an iteration and there is an urgent request for a small change to be introduced to the committed scope. Unless this change is accepted, there is no value to the customers during this iteration. What must the Agile practitioner do? A. Add the new change request as a new user story in the product backlog for the upcoming iteration. B. Evaluate the impact of the change request and let the team and product owner decide and reprioritize based on value. C. Recommend cancelling the current iteration and plan the change request into the next iteration. D. Recommend that the product owner add this change request as a user story to the backlog for the current iteration. Answer is B. Evaluate the impact of the change request and let the team and product owner decide and reprioritize based on value. Question 43. During a review session, an Agile team presented done requirements to a group of stakeholders. Stakeholder feedback indicated that the done requirements failed to meet most pressing needs and provide value. What should the team have done to prevent this? A. Reprioritized requirements prior to committing to iteration work. B. Ensured that requirements remain stable during the iteration cycle. C. Had stakeholders focus on items created after the product backlog was initially built. D. Worked on features rather than a set of components. Answer is A. Reprioritized requirements prior to committing to iteration work. Question 44. A member of a project's development team approaches the team lead and requests database administrator training. The team member believes that their inability to handle this work and to rely on outside specialists is impacting team velocity. What should the Agile team lead do? A. Send the member to training. B. Ask the outside specialists if database administration is required from the team. C. Send one member to training only after asking the team if there is an issue with the current workflow. D. Wait until all members of the team can attend training. Answer is A. Send the member to training. Question 45. What role should a servant leader perform to reduce team distractions and improve progress toward project goals? A. Managing. To ensure compliance with the project plan B. Mentoring. To share their knowledge with the team C. Controlling. To ensure compliance with the scope, budget, and schedule D. Auditing. To ensure adherence to organizational compliance policies. Answer is B. Mentoring. To share their knowledge with the team. Question 46. During a retrospective meeting, a team develops a large list of initiatives. All will have a positive impact and improve team performance. What should the Agile coach do next? A. Positively acknowledge the list and share it with management. B. Immediately have the team implement the initiative. C. Help the team choose one or two initiatives for immediate implementation. D. Ask the team to choose and implement the most complex initiative. Answer is C. Help the team choose one or two initiatives for immediate implementation. Question 47. A product owner concludes that the majority of a project Euro TMS value can be delivered by completing only the first half of the prioritized backlog. What should the product owner do next? A. Remove the second half of the backlog, and communicate their decision in the next backlog grooming meeting. B. Reprioritize backlog items to future iterations. C. Work with the team to deploy the first half of the backlog to ensure that value is realized. D. Meet with project stakeholders to review backlog and determine if the scope should be adjusted. Answer is C. Work with the team to deploy the first half of the backlog to ensure that value is realized. Question 48. During the review session, the product owner discovers that the user interface has a response time of 10 seconds. The non-functional requirements state that it should respond in less than 2 seconds. The team complains that this requirement was not communicated to them. What should have been done to avoid this? A. A comprehensive user story with all non-functional requirements should have been created. 
B. Non-functional requirements should have been added to the acceptance criteria. C. Non-functional requirements should have been added to the definition of done. D. A teen review of the scope of work should have been conducted. Answer is C. Non-functional requirements should have been added to the definition of done. Question 49 Midway through a sprint, a scrum team member advises the team of a new requirement that may change the initial scope. What should the team do? A. Work on requirements that the product owner may have overlooked B. Record the scope creep in the change management log C. Add the new requirement to the product backlog D. Ask the scrum master to secure additional time and resources. Answer is A. Hold a meeting with the team and the product owner to develop the team charter, working agreement, guiding principles, and product vision. Question 50 During a current sprint, a team member asks permission from the scrum master to investigate an alternative design approach. What should the scrum master do? A. Discourage the team member from deviating from the plan and document the request during the retrospective B. Encourage the team member to research the issue and present the findings during the retrospective C. Discourage the team member from using experimentation slash spikes unless it is fully developed and accounts for a variety of use cases D. Encourage the team member to use experimentation slash spikes for continuous improvement and help the team understand why it is important. Answer is D. Encourage the team member to use experimentation slash spikes for continuous improvement and help the team understand why it is important.